what is up guys it's so much welcome back we are back with a new game today this is called war pirates war pirates is kind of like a rts strategy game uh kind of like some of the strat scrollers that we've played in the past but this game is unique in itself because you're on ships uh, i do want to say this is a sponsored video there is a sponsored link in the description below you can download this game from this link this game just came out like i said i believe it was yesterday and what it is is downloading this game helps out the channel just like leaving a like and commenting on the channel does as well now logging in of course you do have daily login bonuses in this game and to begin with this is kind of overwhelming if you're just looking at it because it's a lot going on but basically right here we have all our ships that we have available these are little things that basically you can get the in-game currency from which is the gold and the elixir looking stuff and there's a lot of different stuff you have mail uh bonuses come in all the time more stamina so you get a lot of stamina from logging in daily it looks like and this is a stamina based game i currently am at a max of 73 at my level but i have 591 stamina so you get a lot um, now of course you have missions and things you can do but the majority of the game the gameplay itself is right here uh, basically what you have is missions that you're going on and let's see we are currently right here so let's go to next and once we get here it'll tell you the items that are available so we can start this one and this is where you get to choose uh, now depending on how many spots you have uh, some places have different max for ships that you can use but matching colors also helps uh, so we're going to deploy here and you also get to carry a reinforcement which is a random player throughout the game uh, so let's take uh, this guy he's got a level 34 guy so this should be pretty easy now there is a lot of artwork and basically side scenes in this game uh, pretty much in between every fight you're gonna catch some kind of storyline so this game has a lot of storyline to it if you love games like this uh, you're definitely gonna want to check this out because it has storylines in between every fight after fights and it's just really cool to follow through uh, let's go ahead and skip through and get into the battle though because I want to show you guys exactly what we're gonna be looking at and what type of battle it is and as far as ships, you're probably wondering, are you just fighting with the ships or do the characters actually fight? So basically what it is, you have your ships here and you're gonna go in and attack. All right, I'm gonna slow this down. Okay, you can change the, uh, the speed of the fight, top left, and there's auto, but it's not activated yet. So you have abilities on these characters. Now I'm gonna catch uh, four of these guys in this ability, what's gonna do it's gonna knock them back off of their ships they're gonna have to swim back if they survive it and now we have another guy that's available activate this skill this has got like a strike through does a pretty good amount of damage to that one person and we're just sinking ships left and right all right let's get the skill with him going and he's gonna smash this guy a lot of damage you see they are knocked out they're trying to swim back you can't attack while you're swimming uh, so that's a good move to kind of knock people back and let's go ahead and take out that ship right there and that should be it decisive victory now this is where you collect your rewards uh, of course you get a lot of experience as you can tell level up pretty quick to begin with uh, we got a clear reward and you can also send a request uh, to add that person that you basically had help from I see here again is the storyline like I said the storyline is in and after every part of the fights that you do throughout these things uh, and it's like I said it's a lot to it so let's see let's go ahead and skip it because it is pretty long now there's the clear rewards awesome now you see we have a lot of these things right here at the top resources have increased i'm going to go back and uh, show you we're going to go to our hideout so what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this guy right here this is our tavern this is where you can go and uh let's go ahead and complete this right now we got 1700 of them but this is where you can go in here a little i'll show you this is where you can hire new pirates that command new ships uh, as you can see let's see new pirates times two rate for five uh, we also have some recruit tickets, so you can get a four star and above guaranteed. Let's go ahead and pull some of these and see what we get.
And here's the reveal. Throws the coat off. Awesome. Anita. That is a four star. Nice. Musketeer type, golden strike, and a passive. Awesome. So what you do with these guys is they are able to command the ships. Like I said, once you get into uh, building more, you see I've expanded mine out a good bit. You can upgrade each ship. Uh, you just click on upgrade and they upgrade. You get points and stuff for it. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade these. But there's a lot of stuff to do out here. And if you ever get lost and don't know what to do or what's available to do, there's a thing that right here that says item. It's right below your profile picture and it shows you basically everything that you're able to do so i have tickets say if i start running low on gold uh these tickets right here they'll give me 5,000 gold so you see i just got 5,000 gold uh, there's a lot of things you have run tick rum tickets uh there's so much to do if you ever get lost like i said just come in here and it'll take you to everything uh let's go ahead and pick some of this stuff up the market you have notices, info, the pirate quarters, everything. Uh, you can upgrade people here. Uh, for instance, uh, this guy right here. So you go to Swabby Management and you're able to basically upgrade the guy. Uh, we could level up, we could select that guy and set him. There we go. And select this guy right here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna increase the power for this guy, so it's gonna have extra power. Uh, you can add more into him as well, and there are also a few more things that you could do as far as uh, management with them. You go into the training grounds and you can go to strengthening. So you can, let's say this guy right here, all right. And we're going to select who we need to use. Uh, no, let's not go with that one. Uh, these guys right up here at the top. Here we go. Uh, so I've got a lot of the five stars, but he's at level 21. So let's go with one of the two stars and it's going to cost a little bit of the rum. I mean, it, it, it's pirate games. Of course, there's going to be rum in it. That's cool. So he's up to level 27 now. Uh, I could go with uh, one more of these and get him to 30, but I don't really have the materials to upgrade anything after that. So that would kind of be a waste. So I could go through the map actually and go back in and go ahead and start doing some more of these missions. And it, it's really fun game. There's so much to do in it already since the game just came out and it, you, you just stay busy over and over. There's a shark right there. That's pretty cool. Uh, so let's grab the sparrow chick and we're going to get into this match again uh, we're going to skip the storyline and go ahead and head right into the gameplay and i'm going to show you what it looks up this is two times sped up so it does go a lot faster you know if you do let it play out at one time it does seem like it's really really slow this is that chick okay she's got attack power increase look at all these guys one two three six nine we're going to hit 10 people with his one ability watch Douche. That is a lot of damage. That is nice. At the very top, you can see you got a health bar. It kind of tells you the uh, the difference between their team and your team. Uh, so right now, currently, we're pretty much a health bar away or possibly a ship away in uh, damage. And you can just unload everybody's skills at one time if you want to. And just take people out quick. You see how much health they went down? And just speed it up and things will go a lot quicker. Okay, Vale's really low on HP. Casca's dead already, but people can die. The problem with them dying is there's not one. That That's the cool thing about this game. There's no problem with people dying. You still get experience. As you can see right here, everybody's still getting experience. Uh, we had two of them level up and we got some more items. Okay, we got 10 times more of the three stars. We could actually level up some more pirates if we go get some, like uh, the one we just got a while ago, that four star. And there's some more of the storyline. Like I said, pretty much every time you go through, you're going to run through a storyline, which is pretty amazing. We got a new ship, the Interceptor Armored Ship. Oh, deliver shock damage to any enemy pirate that boards her. Oh, that's cool. So it's a passive on the ship as well. So it builds, it's got a lot of stuff, even more that it's adding to it that I haven't even explored yet in the game. So it's really interesting. I'm probably going to get into it a bit more because it's, it's pretty fun to play actually. Uh, but 
this is pretty much it for this video guys if you like this video leave a big fat like on it if you would like to play this game the link in the description you can download it from there like i said it is a sponsored link every time you guys do download the game from there it does help us out here as does liking this video and leaving a comment i want to thank you guys again for watching as always like comment and subscribe i am Solbash. you guys have a nice day